friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a manual small incision cataract surgery let us observe the surgical steps superior rectus brittle suture is applied the eyeball is turned down with the help of a muscle hook the superior rectus tendon is healed and a thick nylon suture is passed underneath the superior rectus tendon this brittle suture will act as a third hand and now this is 5.5 mm measurement this is going to be the wound size in this case and the intraocular lens i'm going to use has optic size of 5.25 mm so conjunctival peritomy is being done for about one and a half clock hours from 11 o'clock to 12.30 and now the sclera must be exposed the tenon covering the sclera must be managed properly so that the scleral surface is exposed nicely once the scleral surface is exposed bipolar weight field cautery is done very mildly there should not be any contraction of the scleral surface very mild cautery is done and now a frown incision is placed so this is a 5.5 mm wound now sclerocorneal tunnel is being made this is a crescent blade the tunnel from center to the left side is being made and now the tunnel from center to the right side is made we don't need a large internal wound in this case because the cataract is not hard nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3 and the cataract should come through this small wound and now a side port is made at 9 o'clock visco is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea and this improves visibility and we don't need tripe and blue dye in this case the capsular tag is raised and the capsular tag is guided by the needle itself 26 gauge disposable bent needle and a round optimum sized rexis is met size of this rexis is about 5.5 mm and now the tunnel is opened cut when you go forward and now hydro dissection is done hydro delineation is also done and now by the hydro cannula itself the nucleus is prolapsed then visco is injected both in front and behind the intraocular lens and then 
this is an irrigating vectus that removes the intra removes the nucleus the epinucleus is also removed and now we have to clean the cortex I'm using the 23 gauze Simco for cleaning the cortex from inferior part from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock and now going through the sideboard remove rest of the cortex and now some fibers are sticking to the posterior capsule they are removed in this case I'm going to implant a PMMA lens with 5.25 millimeter optic and this is the Liberty lens from Apasami Associates the leading haptic goes to the capsular bag and the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag and now the visco has to be removed very nicely this is 23G Simco the antechamber is irrigated first the capsular bag is also irrigated and then the antechamber and the capsular bag irrigation and aspiration is carried out together since I had the bimanual IA ready I'm going to irrigate more with this irrigating proof and I'm doing some hydro polish of the posterior capsule yes the posterior capsule is very clean now and now the side piece to be closed this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the corneal stroma on either side of the side port is hydrated and the side port gets closed nicely and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and now in this case I didn't use any suture I'm going to inject gentamicin and dexamethasone just here and chemosis is created superiectus brittle suture is removed and as the speculum is removed the conjunctiva gets opposed to the limbus thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your small incision cataract surgery skills